Welcome to this video tutorial by VectorBrush.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could use the um, how you could use the vector pattern brushes on on the line tool, on the brush tool, and on the pencil tool. So we're going to start off by choosing a a brush. So I opened up our Thornvine set and I'm going to select this pattern over here. And this is the easiest way. You could also manually upload all your brushes, but I like to just copy the the brush I want to use and just drop it on on the document I'm working on. So uh, right now I'm just going to select this. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to just click OK. So I'm going to start off with the line tool, uh, which is on the left hand side. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to create a line. I'm going to actually paste my my graphic here, my pattern brush, and I'm going to go, once I paste it onto my document, it should appear on my brushes palette. Again, uh, if you don't have your brushes palette out, it's under window and brushes. So once you have that out, make sure it's highlighted and once you paste the artwork, it should appear there. So we're going to go back to our our line, and we're just going to click on Pattern Brush 3. And you should now have the pattern applied. Now I'm going to go to the Paintbrush tool. I'm going to select that. I'm going to create a, um, a line and now as you can see it since I had the brush selected it created it uh, automatically applied the brush to it and now I'm gonna do another one with the pencil tool so the pencil tool is selected and I'm gonna create another line So here's my line. Now with my line selected, make sure it's highlighted. Click on the brush and there you go. And um, you could, you know, if, if you don't, you could always go back to this and actually uh, use a direct selection tool and actually click on the vector point and adjust some of these points if if you know you're if you're going for a certain kind of look you could do that um you could also adjust the the width so if you want to make it thicker um you could always remove points So there's a lot you could do, and it's it's really cool. You could uh, create a lot of um, different effects. You could copy, paste, and create some pretty elaborate stuff. So ba basically, the idea is if you could create a path, any path you could create, you could apply one of these brushes to it. Um, so it's not just it's not just uh, shape shape paths. It's also um, you can use it with with all these other tools that create create a path. So uh, it's it's very brief. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys the type of stuff you could create with um, 
with these brushes but if, if you guys have any specific questions uh, feel free to send us an email to vectorbrush at gmail.com or uh, let us know what you think uh, by going to vectorbrush.com uh, thank you thank you for watching